I can't imagine at 10 losing the home that you've had your whole life and and being, you know, you, you're surrendered, you don't, don't see, and then you're put in a car and driven a hundred miles to another place and unfamiliar sounds, unfamiliar people, but everybody just embraced her. She had glaucoma or retinal detachment was surrendered and the rescue organization, I believe, sent her to Pittsburgh and the amazing staff at the Humane Animal Rescue in the North Side um, removed uh, her eyes and then sent her to an amazing foster home. And they cared for her until she was ready to be put up for adoption and they brought her back to the shelter and that's where I saw her. So our Mastiff had passed away and we knew that we wanted another dog. We believe in rescue and, and I saw her online on March 10th and I basically couldn't get her out of my mind. And Sean wasn't such I, an advocate um, no, for adoption of an, a, a blind, senior dog and, and a blind, blind dog. dog. I convinced him and we went to meet her and it was love at first sight. We brought her home and she literally just walked in the door. She got a drink of water and she laid down. And there, I mean, the rest is history.